What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Modern Warfare 2v2 Alpha. Today I want to give you some quick tips for anybody out there starting out. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. The first thing is the guns do have a bit more recoil, more like the older Modern Warfare games, and flinch is pretty hard. So if you're in a gunfight with someone and you miss a shot and you're starting to flinch, you will get beat. Time to kill is very fast. So make sure that you're on target, not really missing too much because the flinch will get you beat. Also, make sure you ADS most of the time. Always around corners, you should, you should ADS in any first-person shooter. But in this game, with the new sprint mechanic, you can kind of have a super sprint where you kind of pull your gun up. But there's always unlimited sprint. The only bad thing about Modern Warfare is the time to kind of sprint to ADS or, you know, just anything to do with aiming down sight from sprinting, even to the hip fire, is pretty slow compared to other Call of Duty titles. So you need to get used to that. It is best not to sprint too much because you will get caught out really, really quickly. And like I said, the time to kill is quick, so you will die very fast, and you won't even be able to aim down sight. So make sure that you're getting used to that slower aim down sight mechanic, because from what I understand, it's going to be just like this in multiplayer as well. Communication is key. Make sure you're talking to your teammate. If you do not have anyone to play with, leave your gamer tag down in the comment section below. Maybe someone else will leave a comment, leave a gamer tag, and y'all can get together and play 2v2, because communication is the easiest way to win these rounds, in my opinion. Always make sure that you know what lethal and tactical you have before each round because these change out just like the weapons change out. Every few rounds when the weapons change, the lethals and tacticals will change. So make sure you're taking advantage of these uh, and knowing what they are so it will make the round easier on you because sometimes you may even have a, a stem shot. You don't get one that you can, u that you can use consistently, but you'll have like two or three charges on it. So that can help in a gunfight. Sometimes you may have a smoke grenade, which is not really going to be that great if you're trying to concuss somebody. I've had that issue myself. I'll forget that I don't have a concussion grenade and have a smoke grenade. So make sure you check those lethals and tacticals every round. Turn off the music, turn off the film grain, and turn off the motion blur in the settings. Those always are off in every game I play that's a shooter because they can all hinder, of course, sound. And motion blur and film grain are not any good, in my opinion, except in campaign mode. Those really kind of hinder your vision. So if you turn all those off, it will make the experience better. Um, if you can peek, use the new peek and lean kind of system. It is something like Rainbow Six Siege. If you've played Siege, you know what I'm talking about. I'm used to it, so I've been taking advantage of it because it is very easy to get a headshot or just kind of take someone, you know, kind of off guard when you're leaning instead of just walking out. So make sure you're taking advantage of that new peek and lean. And last but not least, guys, if you get in a round, these rounds are not long and it comes down to the end of the timer, there will be a flag in the middle of the map that you have to cap. It only takes a couple seconds to cap that flag. So make sure you're either capping the flag or watching that flag so when the enemy gets there. But just keep in mind, if it's a one-on-one -on -one and no one caps the flag, it's the player with the most health that will win. So you kind of have to play that by either playing damage or playing the flag capture. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.